You know how good it is when you're sat at your desk pumped up. We recently named all of the items and accessories in our office. First of all, we're gonna start with the vacuum cleaner there. We called it Jesus because it once died, but it came back to life. Next up, above me. The NAS is now not actually in this cabinet because we moved it out of here because it was too loud, but that is called the Nazoline because why the hell not? Baruta, this wonderful spider plant that we have here was gifted to us by our previous cleaner who we bloody hope comes back because she was so good. And that was her name, Baruta. She's a lovely lady. She cleaned this office like no one else could. And then over to behind you, Joss, we've got a heat press here and it's called Ronnie because of Ronnie Coleman, because he presses. <laughs> is it Ronnie Coleman? <laughs> uh, and then behind you, Joss, is Tony because um, that's Tony Hawk because he shreds. That's a shredder. Tony Hawk shreds on a skateboard. Tony shredder. <laughs> Tony shreds. <laughs> Starleaf Mark II. So we had an, an original Starleaf back in the desk days, and then we've got Starleaf Junior Wet Boy. For obvious reasons that he's called Wet Boy because he lives in water. It's a bit of an experiment of mine. I thought, how long can I keep this plant alive by just giving him water and no soil? He's done pretty good so far. He's got a load. Look at the state of those. Like that, that's just telling me I'm desperate to go in soil. Give me some soil, I need it. But I'm like, no Starleaf. Junior wet boy, you're not going in soil, you're staying in water. Our coffee machine is a wonderful bit of kit, but it's nowhere near as good as the man behind Lightbulb Coffee. And that's why we named this coffee machine Donovan, after the guy who owns Lightbulb Coffee called Donovan. To the final bit in the kitchen, the micro wave. Now, if you're anything of a sort, you will know that when I say micro wave, it links with Nigella Lawson. But I still need a bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the micro wave. <laughs> What the hell is that doing in there? We're an office of four guys. It gets a bit messy sometimes. So I set up a kitchen kind of rule book, which was if you leave anything on this counter, you get a one pound fine. That right there is a one pound fine. Wasn't me, so I don't know. But some mug has left a spoon in. That is disgusting. Maybe the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Sure. So anyways, that's gonna get a three pound fine. But here is the fine list that says the fine fine list, one pound for every item. Look who's not on the list. Me us, or Joss? Us two. Because we're clean. Once again, I'm making the teas. Abs yeah. Absolute shock. Who wants a tea? Who wants a tea? <laughs> Goes to make a tea and complains about making teas. It's true. I did offer to make a cup of tea, but I just have to, you know, I have to give the boys a little bit of shit so that someone else makes the cup of tea tomorrow. What are you doing there, sir? Trying to do bicep curls. I mean, I haven't got the big arms in the office. They belong to him. When you're exporting a video, you have to do bicep curls. And I'm currently exporting a snow bombing video. So Josh was like, Dan, have you done, have you done bicep curls? And I was like, no, I haven't. So this is me. Who am I? Jay Cutler. Wow, it looks just like you, mate. You got the same tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the idea is that the more pumps we do in the office, the more clients we get. Why do we do this? Doesn't it hurt? You know how good it is when you're sat at your desk pumped up from all the bicep curls. Dan just got back from the shops and he bought us some fabs and Ben has never had a fab before. Weird. Weird. What made you pick up the fab over every other ice cream? Nostalgic. Like, when was the last time you had a fab? When was the last time you had a fab? Mr. Viewer, Mrs. Viewer. I mean, I was a small kid. I didn't even have a job. Thoughts on fabs? I bloody dribbled it down myself. <laughs> Oh, oh no! He's had a shocker. Fabs are a ten. Fabs are fab. Although, fabs or twisters. Do you remember twisters? Mm. They were twisters the ones. This morning we're off to Quarter Cloud to shoot some internal videos for them, which is different because we usually shoot external videos for them. So, yeah, let's go and shoot those internal videos with a pit stop at Rave Coffee on the way. And we're here. Castle. Office in a castle. Let's get it. You're too tall to be in there, mate. Dan, can you stop messing around and help, please? Sorry, boss. So we're about three hours into filming here at the castle. That was a wrap on our shoot with Quarter Cloud. A very solid day with a bunch of different content done. That was really good. It's so hot, but we got all the content that we needed to get done, plus a few extra bits, which is fantastic. Um, but as Ben Morton would say, that is a W-A-R-P.